Hello! Today we're going to recommend the top five food sources of resveratrol and explore the question of whether it's a good idea to take resveratrol supplements. Resveratrol is a powerful antioxidant that provides protective benefits for your heart, brain, and body. It's a polyphenol, most prominent in the skin of grapes, and shines through in natural grape juice and red wine. There have been numerous studies showing the anti-cancer and anti-aging effects of resveratrol. It is an anti-inflammatory which prevents inflammation in the brain and heart by providing a protective lining for blood vessels and preventing injury. Researchers have found neuroprotective qualities that help preserve memory and brain function as well as prevent heart disease and strokes. For details about the anti-cancer properties of grapes, please check out our previous video about this. I'll put a link in the description below. Antioxidants help with multiple systems in our bodies. A diet high in antioxidant-rich foods promotes high levels of HDL, good cholesterol, and low levels of LDL, bad cholesterol. Polyphenols also improve the function of blood vessels and helps to slow down the formation of blood clots. It's clear that getting more resveratrol into our diets would be a good thing to do. Let's begin with our top five food sources, then consider the question of whether or not to take a supplement. The top food source of resveratrol are grapes and red wine. Darker grapes such as black and red have higher concentrations of resveratrol than green grapes. Grapes have between 0.25 to 1.25 milligrams of resveratrol per one cup serving. The resveratrol in grapes is in the skin, so make sure you're consuming the skin as well. A glass of red wine has approximately one milligram of resveratrol. Number two on our list, peanuts. In comparing equal weights of peanuts to red wine, peanuts are comparable to red wine. Raw runner peanuts with their skin intact have tested out at 1.12 milligrams of resveratrol per 100 grams serving. Peanuts can be eaten raw, boiled, or roasted. Raw and boiled have good levels of resveratrol, while it's a little lower in roasted peanuts. Dark chocolate and cocoa powder are number four on our list. There is 0.2 milligrams of resveratrol per 100 gram serving of cocoa powder. On average, dark chocolate contains 0.035 milligrams per 100 gram serving. Berries are number four on our list. Resveratrol can be found in a wide variety of berries, such as blueberries, strawberries, cranberries, and mulberries. In blueberries, you will find 0.383 milligrams per 100 grams, and in strawberries, 0.35 milligrams per 100 grams. Number five on our list, pistachios. The thin skin that encases the pistachio nut contains most of the resveratrol content. Pistachios have approximately 0.11 milligrams of resveratrol per 100 grams serving. Apparently there is a pistachio butter on the market, so that might be a nice way to get in more resveratrol. Resveratrol has a fairly low toxicity level. 
it's reasonably well tolerated up to 5 grams per day. However, studies have indicated side effects such as nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and other gastrointestinal issues for people taking higher supplement doses. Remember that supplements are not regulated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, so you can never be certain you are getting the right amount of resveratrol that the product claims to provide. Based on the available evidence, to benefit from resveratrol, we recommend incorporating 1 mg per day into our diet from natural food sources. Studies show that there is really only so much our bodies will absorb per day. Also, since there can be negative side effects in higher doses from supplements, it could end up being too much of a good thing. I hope you found the information in this video to be useful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.